Yes, yes, yes. The metacognition game. Bears and bubbles. You got to watch what you think. Think about what you're thinking about. So, today's class will be about bubble jumping. As you remember, in the second class, we created a dictionary of good adjectives, good and bad adjectives. We're going to use these words to fill in our bubbles. And um, I'm going to show you how to play that based on the scenario. So as you all know, of course, we're all living during the pandemic. The coronavirus has a lot of people feeling a lot of different ways. And um, I started thinking this would be a great time to use that to show how this game is played because it's all about how you perceive things to be. It's all about controlling your thinking. It's all about, um, it's all about controlling how you feel so that you can have better outcomes in the future because we know this is not going to stay like this, right? Yay, yes, everybody believes it's not going to stay like this. Okay, so... For my students, uh, I know you've been having a lot of problems in school and this is the worst time to probably have an epidemic, although you're probably happy to be at home. But however, there has to be some type of feeling about, you know, what is that going to mean for your grades? Um, how are you going to be able to get in and uh, increase your GPA, graduate on time? What does that mean for college and stuff? So I want to help you control your thinking and your emotions to keep on with uh, building your self-regulation by building the self-efficacy because feeling good about how you feel about a present situation that is seen to be bad will give you confidence that you can have a good outcome in any bad situation. So as you see, this is you, right? Meaning you're attached to your inner you. How you feel here, how you feel here is how you feel around you. So you feel high in heaven when you're accountable for your thoughts. So that's why metacognition is important because it'll remind you to control how you're thinking based on previous situations where bad thinking just didn't turn out for you in a good way. Because when you're low, when you're feeling low and down, you feel like you're in hell and you're blaming others for, the, for your actions. So let's say the coronavirus got everybody feeling depressed because we're blaming the government for creating the virus. We're, we're uh, blaming China for eating animals and <laughs> spreading the virus. We are blaming Donald Trump for not doing, his, doing right uh, as president with his leadership abilities. We blaming God for punishing us for being a wicked, wicked society. We blaming nature for trying to get rid of us. We might be blaming the animals because they've been vibrating high. And they said, we got to get these humans off the street because we just need some time to just be by ourselves. Whoever, right? Well, these things got you feeling low, 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 low in hell, right? Okay, so... What I have done is broken down uh, your boom boom room and your Debbie land. Remember that from chap from months two and three, three and four. Uh, your boom boom room. This is where all your good stuff is at. And I broke it down into frequencies, like a radio station. 
because the whole thing, your emotion is based on your frequency, your positive and your negative. Your metacognition is going to help you keep that frequency positive because you want everything in your boom, boom, room, all the good feeling stuff. So you got 97.5, that's passing grades. You got 102.1, that's graduation. It's not far, it's, it's right around the corner. 104.4 is college. 107.2 is a career. That could be working for someone, that could be making your own career, you could become an entrepreneur. 109.9, 109.1 is a family. Because if you not, if you don't succeed in life, you can't have no family. I mean, you can, but how successful will you be in having a family? Your Debbie land. That's where all your where your bad stuff is stored, your bad bears, right? And so we're gonna fill this in as we go. But Debbie land is where your anger is, the negative vibration. Uh, it's also where your depressed your depressive state is. So the the key is to not stay here, but to understand whatever you create negatively will get stored and will have bad outcomes that will stop you from being able to get everything that's in your boom boom room. And as you grow up, you will change. This may, this is, will change. You may have children in there. You may have travel in there. You may have money in there, you know, depending on what you want to do, what you see yourself. But we got to get this part of your life under control first so you can feel high in heaven. Okay, here we go. So, get to my list. So, okay. Right now, let's just say a lot of people are feeling depressed about the coronavirus. And I can see that maybe in the house. Seems to be a lot of mothers that ain't happy that they got their kids with them. Um, this is something that you can teach it, that your parents can use for their lives also. But um, you're feeling depressed. Well, depressed is all the way low in the hell because it's like a sunken place. You can't move. You might be laying around, sleeping all day, not doing any exercise, nothing. That's depressed. So we got to get you moving. That's the first step. Even if you're in a low place, if you're in Debbie land, you got to get moving. So we, how can we get you out of depressed? You know, that sunken place. If you go back to your adjectives from your word bank that we developed, the next step from uh, depressed might be helpless. Let's put that right here. Now, that ain't a lot, that's not a lot of movement. But helpless is still not hopeless. Not stagnant. So we're just trying to get you to move up. Because although you feel helpless, there is a little help out there for you. And you know that. You just don't know where that help may lie. Okay? Following me? Yeah. You should be starting to smile soon. Okay. Next, we'll say fear. Okay, fear is a little bit step up. However, it's a little bit motion. It ain't depressed. You could be scared. Fear can make you start to plan what you're going to do next. Um, start to reach out to people to say, hey, I'm scared about what's going on with this virus. I don't know what this means for my grades. I don't know if I should be studying extra hard. Um... You probably should be studying extra hard. However, at least you may start to reach out to people. So that's still two steps up. Then let's say doubt. Okay, doubt ain't that much better. However, doubt means maybe you started to consider some things. You know, I doubt if it will be as easy to pass as I hoped, as I had gotten ready to be able to do. You doubt that, right? But it is an active thought about thinking about how you can achieve some goals. So though it's negative still, it's still an active negative. And we just trying to get you moving from here so you can get up here. Uh, shoot. 
Some of the problem is you're home from school and your parents had not known that you was, they was going to have another mouth to feed right now. Got you feeling real poor, right? Like you don't have enough money to survive. Some of you have had to um, go back and, you know, uh, worry about how much you're eating and stuff like that. And so poor means, though, you know, hey, I am considering the people around me and how they may have to work harder to feed me so I may clean up more. I may offer to help out cooking more. I may um, see if there is any online jobs for children that I could do. Um, you know, this it may spark you to create some type of internet video game or something. So poor is still low. However, it is showing that you may be considering the financial state of your family and, and considering where you may be a burden or where you can help at. Next, we'll go to bored. Well, you might just be bored. But bored is way better than depressed. So bored is like, okay, I wish I had some more to do. Maybe I can take a walk around the block. Maybe I can read some more books. It's still an assessment of where you are. It is a way to start to create a blueprint on how you can feel better about being in the state of which you're in. And then next, maybe you just mad. You just mad. You mad because all this time you've been coming to these classes, ready to do what you needed to do, pull those braid ups, and now you had this epidemic where you cannot go to school, you can't show that you are using your metacognition so much that you can pass these tests like you want to so much that people start to come to you and say, hey, you seem like you're a different person. And you say, that's right, because I'm not thinking the way I used to be. You're mad, you're angry, you've been ready to show and prove people have counted you out. But that's still mobile. You ain't depressed. You mad, you mad, you mad. So you know that it's important for you to bubble jump right now because mad don't get you to a happy, good feeling place. And you got somewhere to go because you got some good things stored in your boom, boom room. And angry is also too. It's a step up. Look, it's right there at the line before your... Um, before you get to your happy place. So you know you can't stop going because you're too close to what you're doing, to your success, for you to stop now. So, and since we're so close to the um, habit, you might so let's just keep going. Okay, so, angry, okay, now you're telling yourself, remember, metacognition, last time you was angry, it caused you some problems. So we're not going to do that. You're going to talk to yourself. Metacognition, calm down. We don't want no bad outcome. We don't want nobody to sneak out the house when your parent told you to stay. Because you know that this could affect your whole family. This can affect your neighborhood. Could affect your community. Could affect the world. Calm down. Breathe. Meditate. Go back and journal. Do the things that we taught in the first couple of months of these classes that showed you how to reflect on how you're feeling. Okay, so you calm. And then you start to think of some good things. Oh, you can't wait till the 4th of July. Oh my God, you're so excited. Oh, shoot. You're excited. You're excited about something. This is going to be over by the 4th of July. You have a barbecue. Y'all gonna have family reunion. Uh-huh, you see that? That's how you work yourself up. Actually, let's think about when you take a family trip to the beach. And that beach, the water, it still makes you feel calm. So calm feels better now. Uh, and the beach is beautiful. Oh. The beach is so beautiful. You see, you got your feet in the sand. Oh my goodness. If you don't know what that feels like, that's all right. If you go outside, get you some anything. Some, um, if you haven't been to the beach yet, you get you some 
wash them powder them. Dry one if you got that in your house. Go outside, dig you up some dirt. Feel it, feel it. Get it in your hands, put it in your feet. You know, sit outside in the sun and just look at the sky and imagine that you are on the beach. And vacationing makes you feel tantalizing. Oh, shoot. Yeah, tingly all over, you ready. Especially if you like to swim, you get in that water and you swim. Oh my goodness. That'll make you feel, and after that, that'll make you feel grateful to have good health, to be able to swim, to be able to have survived this coronavirus epidemic. Your family is with you. That means all of y'all escaped being sick. Oh, it's so good feeling healthy. Healthy means different to you now. You are, um, and now you're feeling restful. No longer are you feeling helpless. You're feeling restful because you're out at the beach relaxing. Mm-hmm. And uh, ultimately, that makes you feel good, great. And it makes you feel alive. Ain't nothing better than feeling alive. Because you got some stuff that you need to get out your boom boom room. You need to pass these grades. You need to graduate from high school. You need to get to college. You need a career. And you need a family. Because that's what being grown is all about. And, uh, and when you recap this, remember these vibrations. You don't want to be... Mad at vibration 1310 AM radio. You don't want to feel poor at 1400 AM radio. You don't want to feel doubt at 1490 AM radio. You don't want to feel helpless. You don't want fear. And Bored, all of those things. Upset. All of these negative vibrations give you. Oh no. Angry bears. And they will destroy your chances at feeling high. In heaven, they will fight your bears, and you don't want to do that. So remember, in any situation, the job is to bubble jump to a next feeling situation. And you can't go from here to here a lot of times. So you got to talk yourself through it. Talk yourself through it. Use these word banks that we created. Uh, find some more words to make you feel good because a lot of times people don't have enough words to make them feel good. So they can't talk themselves out of a bad feeling. Remember, use your metacognition because you know nothing good comes from negative thought. You got to think good to feel good. And that is how you bubble jump. Bubble jump, 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 bubble jump. Because the end of result is the boom boom room. Keep storing in your boom boom room because the more stuff you store in the boom boom room is the more that you will work hard to jump from your bad, your negative feelings and stay in your high place so you can feel in heaven. Keep being accountable to your thoughts because that's how you feel in heaven and, and high. And remember, feeling low in hell will have you blaming the government for why we have coronavirus and not being thankful that you can be on vacation right now, that you could be studying, that you could be saving money, that you can be reevaluating your life, you could be journaling, you could be meditating, you could be singing, you could be dancing, you could be happy because you're alive. Thank you.